Hello there and welcome to the A2 Maths June 2019 paper 1. Here we're looking at question 3. So this is the function for y where x is, does not equal minus 1. That's just so that the bottom of the fraction doesn't equal 0. Uh, part a is show that dy by dx equals a over x plus 1 to the power of n where a and n are constants to be found. Now in this question here we're going to be using the quotient rule. This says that if you're differentiating y equals u over v then the differential dy by dx is going to be u dash v minus u v dash over v squared. When I write dash, I mean du by dx, and when I write v dash, I mean uh, dv by dx. So let's start working this out then. dy by dx equals, so the first thing I need to do is differentiate the top, and that's going to be 10x plus 10. x plus 10, and then that needs to be multiplied by v, which is x plus 1 squared. So x plus 1 squared. Then it's going to be minus, then it's going to be the multiple of u, so that would be 5x squared plus 10x. Then it's going to be v differentiated, and that's going to be 2 lots of x plus 1. All over... Uh, it's going to be this function here squared, so it's going to be x plus 1 squared. So squared and then squared again, so that would be to the power of 4 this time. Right, let's simplify what I can. I think I can spot a factor of x plus 1 on the top and bottom of everything. So that would be now a factor of 1, that would be nothing here, and this would be a 3. And what might be a sensible thing to do now as well is to expand the brackets on the numerator. So it's going to be 10x times x is 10x squared, plus 10x times 1, that would be 10x, plus another 10 times x, that's another 10x, and then 10 times 1 is just 10. Then it would be minus uh, 5x squared times 2, that would be 10x squared, and then it would be minus uh, 2 times 10x, that would be 20x. And if I close the brackets there and divide by x plus 1 cubed. Let's simplify the denominator, that, so the simplified numerator. So 10x squared will cancel out from the top and bottom. And then we'll have 20x's cancel out from the top. Sorry, just from the top there. Uh, so all I'm left with then is 10 over x plus 1 cubed. So therefore, a is equal to 10 and n is equal to 3. Lovely, there we are. Hence, deduce the range of values of x for which, e, uh, for which dy by dx is less than 0. So dy by dx, so this is part b now, dy by dx is equal to 10 over x plus 1 cubed. So we're looking for when the derivative will be less than 0. So we're looking for when this expression will be less than 0. I would say when x is less than minus 1, the denominator will be then a value less than um, less than 0. So then the whole thing will be 10 divided by something less than 0, uh, uh, which will be a negative number. So 10 divided by a negative number is a negative number. So then dy by dx will be less than zero. So it's when x is less than minus one is the answer to that one. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer for question three. So that's five marks for that question there. A bit of, bit of a quotient rule differentiation there. Nothing too bad, really. So that's five marks. Let's now move on to question four.